Alright, my name is Megan Elise Ramos Bradley and um, I've been going to CLC for about eight years now, I think. I was baptized at CLC about six years ago and that was probably the highlight of my my like Christianity. It was like the point where I felt closest to God, I think. I started journaling a lot and writing in my Bible. Yeah, that was that was the best part, probably. But <laughs> um, because I don't express myself very well with words and in communication with other people, uh, my outlets are definitely painting and a lot of times music. And painting is a miracle, just the colors, the way they hit the canvas, and the way you can manipulate it and create things is just exciting. <laughs> and um, music is the kind of thing where you can, where like it's very critical in my life. And anytime I walk anywhere, usually when I'm painting, it's running through my mind all the time. And painting is will always be a hobby always and I can't wait that's something I really like about developing because you can always just keep going and pushing your skill and just keep going at it and see what you can do and see what your mind comes up with one of the most important things about CLC to me is how it's affected my mom my mother has had a lot of health issues. She has had some really low points when she found out that she had cancer. It's given her so much hope and encouragement. Like The people there <laughs> have supported her so much. And I'm so thankful for that. That's the most important thing without a doubt is how those people have been there for her every week. People will come up to her and tell her that she looks good and that they've been praying for her and knowing that like people really, really care is really, really important. So, um, when it was kind of over with the, sum or the Sunday school thing, started with youth group and I never really connected and never really got settled in until of course Kyle came and sort of unified our group and that really led to me building stronger relationships with like Namisha and Justine and um, like that group we meet every Tuesday that group has been really like important in keeping on track and being accountable with each other and then having youth group on Thursdays that's another thing that keeps you centered regular basis because there is so much chaotic stuff. One of the hardest things about being a Christian in high school is knowing that you're one of a minority that around school I know a grand total of one and a half Christians <laughs> and if uh, somebody was to look at our church and see the high school aged kids um, I would hope that they see that, yes, of course, we can have fun and be immature and silly, but that we can, like, seriously think things through and work over, like, really deep subjects and how that applies to our life and, like, where we're going with our life and how that can be an influence and later on. And that's based on more than just the superficial things that most high schoolers go through that it's not you know, it's a deeper relationship with each other and deeper relationship with god than you know your average high schooler so. <laughs>